of all of the things that Moses can speak to the Jewish people about on the eve of their liberation, he chooses to speak to them about children. One would think that he would speak to them about the blessings of freedom. We're about to be free. We've been slaves for two centuries. We're going to go into a new land. We're going to build a free land. He could have spoke to them about the fact that they were going to serve God. And yet he chooses to speak about children. Why is that? And in fact, it is from this week's parasha that we learn three of the four sons that appear at the Pesach Seder. The wicked son, the simple son, the son that doesn't know how to ask. The fourth son, the wise son, is mentioned very much later on in the Torah. Why does Moshe speak about children? What is so important? And I think that the message is as follows. That children represent the future of the Jewish people. And what, what Moshe was telling them at this time is, yes, we are free. We're going to go and we're going to go to the land of Israel. We're going to receive the Torah and we're going to receive all of these wonderful blessings. But without children, those blessings are worthless. And in fact, Moshe wasn't the first one to recognize this. We go back in time to Avraham. Hashem comes to Avraham and makes all types of promises to him. You're going to receive the land of Canaan. You're going to have great wealth. You're going to be powerful. And Avraham says, Hashem, all of this is worthless if I do not have an heir, if I do not have a child who's going to inherit all of these blessings. And of course, that is the truth. And Hashem says to him, well, in that case, I promise that you're going to have a son. You're going to have Yitzhak. He is going to be your physical and your spiritual heir. And this concept is hinted to us in the word for a son. A son is referred to as Ben. Although this word is sometimes even used to refer to all children, Banim. And we are told that the word Ben comes from the same root as to build, Bone. In fact, there is a famous statement of our sages that we read every, every Shabbat where we say, Hashem, that all of your children are learned of God. And says the Talmud, Altikra banayich, don't read the word as your children, Ella bonayich. Bonayich means your builders. All of your builders will be learned of God. When we teach our children, we are building. We are building the next generation of Jews, and there can be nothing more important than that. And therefore, on the eve of their liberation, Moshe gathered the Jewish people and he said, I want to tell you something. In the future, you're going to have children. And of course, children come in all different shapes and sizes and personalities. And some of you are going to have children, unfortunately, they're going to have a very bad attitude. They're going to be wicked children. And you have to know how to deal with a child like that. And some of your children are going to be simple. They're not going to be sophisticated, but you have to know how to deal with a child like that. And then some of you are going to have children, and you're daily sure. They don't even know how to ask a question. They don't know anything about Judaism. But you know what? At betachlo, as it says in the Haggadah. But then you must initiate the subject. You make the effort. You be proactive with your children. Because not everybody is going to have that child that's mentioned later on in the Torah, that wise son who just wants to learn and is thirsty for information. No, you have to educate the next generation. And if you do that, says Moshe, then all of the blessings that God makes you will come true. The land, the blessing of the land, the blessing of wealth. But without educating the next generation, all of those blessings will remain worthless. I wish you a Shabbat Shalom.